Hi, welcome to our channel of IGNO Audiobooks, Indira Gandhi National Open University, School of Engineering and Technology, SOET, Diploma Postgraduate Diploma Programs, Diploma in Smart City Development and Management, DSCDM, MIO 004 Smart Cities, Health, Education, Governance Cyber Security, Block 1 Smart Cities, Digital Transformations, Unit 1 Digitization of Cities, 1.1 Introduction. By 2050, two-thirds of the world's population is expected to reside in cities and urban agglomerations. UN Department of Economic and Social Affairs, 2014. To reach this goal around the world, governments are increasingly leveraging information technology and systems as a way to make cities more efficient, sustainable, and resilient. The United Nations has predicted that between 2014 and 2050, India will add another 404 million people to its urban population and will have the highest rate of urbanization among all nations. One such rapid urbanization will put tremendous pressure on existing city services such as water, sanitation, sewage, schools, health, and transportation. To accelerate the response to this growing urbanization challenge, in 2015 the Government of India launched the Smart Cities Mission Program. The ultimate goal of this program was to develop 100 smart cities by 2022 that will provide essential infrastructure, a decent standard of living for its citizens, and a clean, and sustainable environment through the application of smart solutions objectives. After studying this unit, you should be able to understand the concept of urban planning and its importance, understand the need for infrastructure management, discuss smart cities and some of the related applications, identify the challenges of smart cities, understand the role of emerging technologies in development of smart cities, understand the existing smart city initiatives taken by Government of India, understand the initiatives taken by Government of India in COVID times for the smart cities, one point to urban planning and infrastructure management, urban planning. The urban planning is basically preparation of plans for and the regulation and management of towns, cities and metropolitan regions to organize socio-spatial relations across different scales of governance. If an urban area is badly planned, residents face traffic congestion, inadequate infrastructure, unaffordable housing, and are vulnerable to climate change and flooding, the city and its infrastructure become unsustainable and ultimately hinder the growth of the population and economy. Urban planning provides a framework to the policy makers and leaders to transform city vision into implementation, using available space as a key resource for development and engaging stakeholders involved in the process. Urban planning is important for planned and organized development of cities, sustainable development of city, proper waste management, provide better infrastructure and public facilities, transport etc. to offer a better quality to citizens, to make city resilient, economic growth, urban planning is a means to bring a positive difference in the city development. The proper planning helps make the most out of municipal budgets. It creates a framework for collaboration between the government and private sector infrastructure management. The infrastructure problem receiving much national attention requires research to solve important policy problems at all three levels of government. To improve management processes, utilize new technologies, and adjust to future living patterns. The biggest challenges of today's cities are the increasing number of people migrating to cities, the requirements for improving the quality of life of the society, managing the growing urban traffic, guaranteeing a high level of security, the integration and access to existing public information systems. For the city, 
Being smart means improving the quality of life in all the seemingly independent areas mentioned above from year to year. The development of smart cities involves adoption of advanced information and communication technologies, ICT, in the process of enhancing the performance of the urban services. The major objective of the smart city is to reduce the resource, energy consumptions and overall cost. The number of people living in urban areas are constantly increasing and it is predicted that the proportion of people living in cities will change from 53% to 70% by the year UN 2015. The cities have to face major changes and challenges resulting from abrupt urbanization as well as older and older infrastructure, the research studies helping professionals and policymakers to understand that infrastructure exists as an interconnected system and that this system's efficient functioning is crucial to our environmental quality, economic well-being and quality of life in general. Nowhere is the importance of infrastructure more apparent than in the nation's urban areas. Provision of clean water, effective waste removal, reliable energy supplies, transportation and communication has offered city-based industry and residents substantial advantages that have supported growth and prosperity for a steadily growing population of India. The smart infrastructure management comprises of smart health, smart education, smart traffic management, smart public safety, smart parking, smart energy, smart home, smart buildings, smart graphic management etc. The system providing these services has evolved through major investment, introductions of new technology and shifts in institutional structure that often occurred piecemeal each change responsive to a narrowly perceived need or opportunity. Today we face problems of aging facilities, networks, that no longer fit well the patterns of shifting demands and conflict among government and private sector agencies working independently and sometimes at cross-purposes to manage parts of the system. 1.3 Basics of Smart Cities and Some of Their Related Applications 1.3.1 Smart Cities Smart City has now become a new adage, which all of us use and consume at times without even understanding its various connotations, flavors and implications. Some refer to this concept as intelligent city or knowledge city, others as ubiquitous city and the tech-savvy ones as digital city. Irrespective of its Nomenclature or mottled references, a smart city is often referred to as a city that uses digital technologies to enhance performance of its public service agencies so that the well-being and safety of its residents is assured. The citizens of smart city are expected to be equal partners in the data creation for related to public services and public utilities using crowdsourcing and pay optimum costs for consumptions of utilities expected to be available. Smart cities as the next generation of knowledge, clusters and business clusters with the finest lifestyle amenities and governance provisions abetted by extensive use of ICTs aim to increase the life quality of their inhabitants while providing sustainable development. The meaning of smart city can be different for different people, Yet smart city can be referred to as a city which offers economic growth, better quality of life, sustainability, good governance and efficiently uses the ICTs available. The Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, Government of India, defines smart cities as the municipality which aims at developing the entire urban ecosystem, infrastructure and services, existing smart India initiatives, the Government of India initiated its Digital India program on 1st July 2015 with a vision to transform India into a digitally empowered society and knowledge economy. This program was a multifaceted project, which under its banner initiated various programs such as Smart City Mission, SCM. 
launched on 25th june 2015 under the union ministry of urban development dot this mission was launched to ensure the inclusion and participation of all groups of citizens in the country in the new developments hence ensuring that the needs of the special section of the population are met This mission also works to bring together campaigns like Digital India under its umbrella 1.3 to smart cities and technology majority of world's population is urbanized while in India only 32% of the population lives in urban areas but it is estimated that Indian urban population is likely to be 600 million by 2050 and will provide 75% share in the country's GDP. To fulfill the desire of people to become urbanized and in order to make India a developed nation. Smart cities are the only hope. However, the process of urbanization also brings with it its own standards which cannot be met by most of the existing cities of India. Indian cities are not developed to meet demands of urbanization and to bear the burden of continuing migration from rural areas. The so-called urban settlements of India face the problems of water shortages, low supply of electricity, congestions, poor infrastructure as well as connectivity. The wholesome approach to tackle these issues is proper planning of cities redevelopment and in order to provide quality life to its citizens the blend of icts and increasing urbanization of existing cities which will ultimately produce smart cities smart cities are urban settlements that are technology driven and ict forms the backbone of smart cities technology nowadays is deeply rooted in the blend of design electronics and computer science The Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology MITY following the same line of thought had released a technical report on design and planning smart cities with IoT ICT The report explores how ICT deployment in smart cities in India lies within a broader context of institutional physical social and environmental factors amidst the complex Needs of managing rapid urbanization government of India is promoting ICT growth and encouraging its use in all the government departments making the work of citizens hassle free Goi has the vision of building 100 smart cities in India some of the developing indian smart cities include Kochi in Kerala Ahmedabad in Gujarat Aurangabad in Maharashtra Manesar in Delhi NCR Kushkera in Rajasthan, Krishnaptinam in Andhra Pradesh, Poneri in Tamil Nadu and Tumkur in Karnataka. This vision is being implemented through area-based approach consisting of retrofitting, redevelopment, pan-city initiatives and new city development. The ways of developing smart cities can be one new cities built smart from start to attract businesses and residents. with a master plan that uses ICT to effectively deliver services also called vanilla green field cities too existing cities made smart smartization partial approach of retrofication and upgradation as in the case of ahmedabad city 3 redevelopment enables reconstruction of an already built up area as in case of bhendi bazar of mumbai and west kidwai nagar in new Delhi for pan cities it is an additional feature to be provided to existing infrastructure of cities by applying some smart solutions which will involve the use of technology information and data to make infrastructure and services better government of india has identified four pillars of smart cities in smart city scheme namely physical infrastructure social infrastructure institutional infrastructure and economic infrastructure quality of life generally means the well-being of individuals and community the components of social infrastructure which include education health care entertainment inclusive planning and building homes together determine the quality of life these 
components work towards the development of human and social capital, thereby improving the quality of life of not only the rich but also of the economically weaker and marginalized sections of society. In order to provide better quality of life, providing easily accessible and hassle-free services to the citizens is a must and to fulfill this objective, the Digital India vision of the Indian government can be very helpful. The vision of Digital India aims to transform the country into a digitally empowered society and knowledge economy. Smart cities cannot be developed without its smart citizens and smart citizens are always in search of better living. Smart citizens want better education, which can be achieved through digital content and digital substitutes of regular services. The e-services would include e-education, e-healthcare, entertainment, e-culture, e-commerce exchange facilities without which a city will be unattractive to people. 1.3.3 Need for inclusive smart cities As urban population grow increasingly diverse, Many cities are turning to technology and smart city solutions to build more livable environment and improve the delivery of public services. Today's cities are larger and inclusive than ever. While urbanization has helped improve living conditions for millions of people around the world, there are chronic economic and social disparities. Marginalized communities, including low-income, elderly, Disabled communities are not always considered in the development of smart cities. These widening inequalities have brought the concept of inclusion to the forefront of urban development. Objective of inclusive smart cities. The inclusive smart cities should delineate the following objectives, ensuring access to pathways, junctions, footpaths, bus shelters, crossings, and public transportation. Creating accessible websites applications, government portals, and community engagement platforms. Create accessible digital technology for websites, mobile applications, products, and services, and design accessible buildings, parks, playgrounds, schools, colleges, hospitals, recreational areas, public toilets, and so on. A use of real-time apps CNIB in terms of making these smart cities accessible and more citizen-friendly, there is a need to address issues which may or may not seem inconsequential. CNUB is a community app that is designed by ethnographic researchers Arnab Bose and Seema Sharma. Through this app, real-time data based on a structured questionnaire is collected by the researchers on various issues faced by specially abled persons in the neighborhoods while accessing public infrastructure. Theme is to collect and analyze that data in order to prioritize the requirements of the government's funding. Moreover, it shall also help product, manufacturer companies and services to customize products for requirements of the disabled people b collaboration of smart city mission and startup india another major step could be alignment of smart city initiative with the startup india initiative rather inviting global private players the state should encourage local startup initiatives as these have a better chance of understanding the regional situations and demands as compared to private international companies c smart ones the popular measures surrounding the accessibility for persons with disability have been largely centered on the physical or mobility aspects in their environment such as ramps, disable friendly toilets, etc. But there has been hardly any focus on making various digital and ICT-driven services which are equally important to persons with disability. Smart ones those are equipped to be capable of providing emergency medical aid as well as delivering services and utilities at the doorstep of disabled and needy people. 1.3.4 Key Challenges of Smart Cities in India Development of smart cities bring with it enormous challenges as fundamentally these cities are based on ICT. All the emerging technologies such as Internet of Things Artificial intelligence, big data, cloud computing etc. are the leading technologies to enable smart city 
development. These technologies can altogether provide infrastructure, applications and technological solutions for offering various services using sensors. ICT has immense potential to enhance the management and functioning of a city which in turn will benefit citizens. However, all these technologies have their inherent challenges. Some of the challenges are listed below. A. Lack of proper infrastructure. The ICT infrastructure and its development required in smart cities is one of the biggest challenge that policy makers face from communication channels to sensors and actuators in physical space remains a huge barrier in taking a smart city initiative. Ultimately, this challenge becomes a significant barrier in achieving smart city objectives. Reliable, scalable and high-speed network connectivity and infrastructure is a key foundation for integrating information systems across city. Consequently, the adequate reliable IT infrastructure which tends to be scalable is a critical challenge for the implementation of smart city B. Security and privacy. Smart cities use IoT devices and sensors to collect and analyze data. These devices capture personal data also of the citizens and sometimes create privacy issues intrinsically. For example, an intelligent traffic management app that updates user about traffic congestion will require that location of the user. The security and privacy is a fundamental challenge for smart city. As the implemented IoT devices and sensors capture huge amount of sensitive data. Threats from hackers, intruders, viruses, worms, trojans etc. has immense potential to disrupt the services and bring down the whole system resulting in enormous losses. Extensive Security approaches are required to secure sensitive data at levels, including collecting, processing, storing and disseminating. Security and privacy are significant not only in making data and services available, but they are also essential in building citizens' trust and confidence in using these systems. It is vital that the city be clear as to who owns the data as there can be potential privacy concerns that may rise from the same. As the city does not have a control over the location of data storage, it is imperative that it take precautionary measures to secure its data. C. Mismanagement of huge data. Understandably, huge amount of data will be generated from all smart city systems. To handle various types of data, with varying velocity, an efficient big data management system is required. This system has to be reliable and scalable with no downtime. Continuous generation, collection, processing and storage of massive heterogeneous data from countless smart city sensors have its own intrinsic challenges. Nevertheless, big data collected across city is extremely useful and is vital for achieving objective of smart city. For example, huge amount generated by GPS sensors. D. Interoperability Smart city architecture is characterized by heterogeneity of networks, applications, devices, platforms, etc. There are various interoperability issues in complex and heterogeneous IT network used in smart cities. The legacy applications and their integration with emerging technologies, artificial intelligence, IoT and big data have become a significant challenge to overcome e high cost development of smart city requires acquiring enormous IT infrastructure. Millions of sensors, thousands and thousands of networking equipment and computing devices will be needed to get end-to-end -end connectivity. Similarly, requirement of IT professionals and consultancies will make up a considerable amount of expense. This investment is not limited to one time only. Operational and maintenance cost of such a huge real-time system will be much higher. To meet stringent reliability, 
and efficiency requirements, more resources will be required leading to higher overheads. For all this huge financial investment is required, F. Availability and scalability of services, smart cities, have a huge complex infrastructure. Huge amount of data is generated across the city. Availability and scalability of services is one of the biggest challenge in smart city scenario. Critical systems cannot afford downtime and requires very high availability. Challenge of meeting the tough requirements of availability is directly proportional to the size and complexity of the system. Smart City Features As part of India's Smart City Challenge, the Smart City Mission has identified 24 key features that a city needs to have 1.3.5 sum of the related applications, Smart Grid, the smart technology to manage the country's electricity, demands, the main driver for smart grid adoption in India is energy access reduction in TD losses which at 23.65% is one of the highest in the world. One of the most recent initiatives by state governments to promote grid is net metering. It is a billing mechanism that allows grid-connected PV solar system to utilize electricity generated by the system in-house and export the excess power to the grid which can be exported to the next building. It is economically powerful as the combination of net metering and smart meters can help a customer economically manage their energy needs indeed to level the widespread inequalities of urban India, a more holistic, approach is needed that must be more inclusive and innovative than just being financially correct. This requires long-term funding plans leveraging a diverse spectrum of funding models and sources must simultaneously be coupled with a citizen-sensitive, context-based inclusive approach. Equal emphasis is pertinent on coupling the prevailing government-based finance options such as public benefit funds, revenue bonds, etc., with alternative, participatory techniques of creating newer revenue models using crowd. Sourcing, micro-lending, venture capital and so on. This would ensure that in the smart cities of future, the core democratic essence of citizen participation and citizen inclusion shall stay highlighted and not mitigated. After all, if Economic growth of citizens stays as a cornerstone of any correct socio-political agenda, then so does citizen centricity. 1.3.6 initiatives taken by the Government of India, the idea of more inclusive and accessible smart cities has taken some root in India. The state at the initial glance is becoming more sensitive to the needs of a fairly large section of our society. The Person with Disabilities Act was amended in 2016 to broaden its scope and reach. Similarly, the Accessible India campaign was launched with the aim of promoting more specially abled, friendly buildings and resources policies. Over 1707 buildings were identified with the help of auditors across 57 Indian cities to be made more accessible as part of this campaign. Section 44 of the Persons with Disabilities Act calls for these buildings to be fitted with ramps for greater access. Modification of toilets to more wheelchair-friendly as well as installation of braille symbols in elevators, the progress regarding these has however been lethargic at best. Study of three as accessibility, adaptability, affordability, in order to make smart cities inclusive, it is necessary for any state to demand STEM Ming from the problems faced by its citizens into consideration. For that purpose, a study of the three as is thus proposed, which facilitates an analysis of the problems and setbacks faced at the citizen level. Such hurdles can be eliminated via changes in implementation of policies and measures at the grass root level. This includes aspects of the three as accessibility, inclusivity is for the people in a large and diverse country like India where the population is sizable, 
the issue of last mile connectivity stands as the first hurdle in the process of development. While a state may implement new frameworks and strategies, there is still a need to focus on the impact that these measures have at the grassroots level as well. Adaptability, more emphasis should be levied on the citizen awareness and their capability to adapt to new changes. Policy and change makers need the support of the masses to bring new changes and developments as desired by the citizens. It is thus essential to make systems that go through proper life processes in order to understand issues and challenges from top to bottom perspective, allowing the ecosystem to adapt to newer technologies, affordability, new policies and changes require more than just planning. An in-depth analysis of the expenditure in terms of the priority need and budget is required. Generally, in developing countries like India, a lot of amount is spent only on investment without any said or less outcome possible. It is imperative that we recognize that the problem of inaccessibility and inclusivity today is not just about being a social duty but is a constitutional right for people. The lack of access to various facilities deny a significant section of the population from various basic rights guaranteed to the citizens of India by the Indian Constitution. The government's SCN thus offers a good opportunity to ensure inclusion and participation of persons with disabilities in the workplace, neighborhood activities, and in social life. There are numerous possible ways to achieve the aforementioned, for instance, Accessible pedestrian signals can be one way of making it a city more embracing toward needs of a specially abled person. This integrated audio device sends audio signals to facilitate safe, quick and timely crossing of roads for people with disabilities, especially the ones with any kind of visual impairment. 1.3.7 Smart Cities in COVID-19 Amidst COVID-19 it is realized that smart cities can be pivotal in managing large-scale crises. The wealth of data generated by smart cities can be put down for various preventive measures and welfare schemes. Smart cities are capable of providing a framework listing of the potential areas with innovative technologies such as the Internet of Things, IoT, Artificial Intelligence, AI, 5G, open data and analytics. Governments and local authorities are leveraging smart cities technology, sensors and data to trace the contacts of people infected with COVID-19. The government has set up control and command. Centers for ensuring awareness and tracking of social distancing and enabling regular communications and updates to the citizens. Smart cities have excelled in efficient waste management and sanitation through smooth coordination between government and private vendors, cleaner disposal and efficient recycling. At this time, when city operations need to be automated and operated with limited manpower, the smart city infrastructure is enabling the same Seoul. South Korea has set a leading example for a great usage of technology and data to empower its citizens. The concept of citizens as mayors has been prominently used for the smart cities in Seoul, which mainly aims to provide the citizens with the same real-time access to information as the mayor. The city has managed to update its dashboard multiple times a day and has even allowed its citizens to access the information about the patient's background and location. Indian scenario, for instance in India, the Pune Smart City Development Corporation LTD, PSCDCL, in association with the Pune Municipal Corporation, PMC, has developed an unique dashboard to fight against COVID-19 more effectively. The integrated dashboard is developed to monitor the quarantine facilities and to track the health of suspected patients. Besides this, PSCDCL is using the Geospatial Information System, GIS, to monitor and track the areas and to 
create buffer zones where the patients are diagnosed COVID positive. The mapping of the containment zones reflects in the dashboard. There are some more smart cities with their unique technologies that are being used by the authorities and health officials. For example, in Vadodara, Gujarat, the administration has successfully installed a helium balloon which is attached with two cameras to keep a check on the ones who violated the lockdown norms. It also has the public address system attached to it. Agra Smart City has launched a televideo consultation service which allows citizens to book an appointment with healthcare professionals and even download online prescriptions from a dedicated website app. Agra Smart City also tied up with the city administration and the Agra police to set up a control room for monitoring social distancing compliance at various locations via video surveillance. It has also started using AI-based analytics on the surveillance data to generate alerts, which are configured via an app on the field staff mobile phones. Bengaluru and Kakinara smart cities, on the other hand, have launched data dashboards which will act as a single source for all pandemic-related action and measures, as well as data collection. The data dashboard will enable the government to monitor people under quarantine and their contacts. Additionally, the platform will also help. The authorities keep a track of frontline workers like medical personnel, on field or at hospitals, compiled in a city and district-wise database, whereas the Chandigarh administration has taken various preventive measures to fight COVID-19. Chandigarh has stepped forward to screen the people by taking temperature through thermal screening. It has installed a pedestal-operated hand wash and soap dispenser, mist spray of sodium hypochlorite solution and hand dryer facility at the main mandi in sector 25. 1.4 Summary Urban planning provides a framework to the policy makers and leaders to transform city vision into implementation using available space as a case source for development and engaging stakeholders involved in the process. The smart infrastructure management comprises of smart health, smart education, smart traffic management, smart public safety, smart parking, smart energy, smart home, smart buildings, Smart graphic management etc. Governments and local authorities are leveraging smart cities technology sensors and data to trace the contacts of people infected with COVID-19. The government has set up control and command centers for ensuring awareness and tracking of social distancing and enabling regular communications and updates to the citizens. Thank you. Subscribe to our channel for more updates and we will see you with the next chapter.